so this is probably one of the, my most awaited videos but i'm gonna get right into it the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the description of the video and click on the link i provided this will take you to github for dan shield's repository of the leak ocr hud which is the software that i had dan and phil make for me back in 2021 yeah so it was a while back it's fully public free to download and you can basically try and improve it yourself if you want we'll try and add updates when we can so the first thing you want to do when you're on this is just have a read through everything and see how it works and afterwards download the latest release so you click here on latest release after you click on this you'll see v102 now we don't really want to have the v102 and uh, there is another version so if we click here on dan shields and we go to the league ocr hud there should be over here on the releases if you click on it v201 preview pre-release so this will be hopefully changed quite soon but this is the one that's currently working so you just click on this and download the leak ocr hud v201 preview.zip now once this is downloaded you will open it up you will take this folder and drag it onto your desktop or wherever you want close it open it up and this is what you have now the next thing that we will need to do is set up our google cloud vision api and i will explain how that works just now so once again you're going to need to click the link in the description and you'll be able to access this file and it's essentially just going to ask you to create a project and an account if you don't already have an account it will tell you to make one so make one and just follow essentially the instructions that are on screen so here you're going to be enabling enabling the api for the google cloud vision and what this does is it allows for the software to interact with it and essentially just use it so you're going to click yes, you're going to click enable and make sure it's turned on. Now, one thing you also need to do that I will not show on screen is create a billing account. So you just go to the three bars on the top left and create billing. But after you do that, you'll need to create a service account also. So click on the link in the description, go to service accounts, then set this up as you can see on screen. Follow it and then download the JSON key that you'll be able to create. And when you have that key, you're basically ready to go. So now that you have your billing account and your JSON key downloaded and your project set up on Google Cloud, I'm going to show you how to set it up. Download the JSON key, you want to put it into this folder, which is your leak OCR test stage or whatever you called it. And then you just rename this to cv.keys. So cv.keys.json. Then you want to go into the config.example.json and here where it says NDI feed, you want to rename this to the name of your PC, js-td. And then let's call this league dash raw. Boom. That's the way I'm going to call it. Now, what this does is it requires you to have OBS open. So here I have OBS. And with this, I have OBS NDI, which is a plugin you can download in the description. You also need to make sure you have NDI 5 tools downloaded. You can find all of this in the description. So once you download OBS, once you download this plugin, you'll go to NDI output settings. You will tick your main output. You will tick your preview output call your main output league hud and call the preview output league raw this is the way i do it uh, and once i show you how you can do it your own way but this is the way i have it now you want to create a single scene and in that scene you will have a game capture of league of legends which i have right here so now that you have your game capture here on obs make sure it's in studio mode and you have the same thing on preview same thing on program We'll set up our game to look normal, so turn on the scoreboard, take off the time controls, and here we have our League of Legends um, Observer, so whatever feed is from the Observer. Now, we're going to go to this text pad, we're going to save as, and we're going to call this config.json, and we're just going to remove this example. We're going to click save, and now, if everything is set up correctly, and you double click this, it's going to open this little window, it's going to say weight is 10,000, and slowly it's going to start doing stuff so here it is as you can see it's processing every 200 to 230 to 300 milliseconds now this takes a grab from the screen and generates files in the output so as you can see here i have all of my different outputs essentially so left kills right kills so right kill should be two as there is two right now boom it's two so let's wait for somebody to die does anybody die Z will die in a sec. So now the right kill should be free. There you go, it's updated to free. And now the way you operate this is super simple. All you do is you add an image 
which is your HUD. And then on top, you add a text file. So let's call this left underscore or right underscore kills. Actually, let's do it with something else that will be easier. Let's do right underscore gold so we can see the gold. And then here we do read from file and we go to browse desktop. We go to our HUD that we have output. And that was the wrong folder, this one. I'll put right gold. And as you can see, this right here is now updating as the gold goes up. There is a minimal delay, but it happens. And honestly, there's not much difference when you're actually viewing this. So as you can see, this updates every 200 milliseconds, every 300 milliseconds, and these are just files on top. So in order to create your own HUD, all you need to do is put an image underneath and then these files above. So as you can see here, I have a HUD that I created in the past and it's pretty simple, honestly. I just have a little layer in the background. I have some other shapes. This is for the dragons and then a timer in the middle. So yeah, once you have this kind of made and you got what you want, you essentially want to recreate this inside of OBS. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything that is there for me to add. So all the text. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this. Boom, get rid of this, get rid of this. So now that I have this here, I'm just gonna save it as a PNG. So I'm gonna go PNG, I'm gonna go desktop, and then I'm gonna go and just save this as HUD. So let's save that as my HUD. I'm then gonna go into OBS, gonna do add image. And in my image, I'm going to add desktop HUD. So here I have my HUD that's covering right there. I'm gonna move it to the side to make sure it's covering everything. But essentially, all you need to do is put this there make sure on the preview that this is off so you don't see it um so let me make a new scene add let's actually duplicate this boom duplicate scene put this on program and this one make it have nothing and just be completely raw cool so let's edit this for a second let's put the hud in the middle put the gold let's say here so boom we have the gold there Let's copy this and let's, let's call this left gold and we'll do left underscore gold. Rename left gold and we'll put that where the left gold is supposed to be. So now that this is made, we're just going to go ahead, make sure we're on studio mode again. Make sure we preview the scene that doesn't have anything on top because what the software does is it takes this and then it turns it into the text files. So let's go back to our software open up a league OCR HUD and let's wait for it to open up. So once it starts running, which is very soon, here we go, it's running now. As you can see, everything is updating as it should. So if I move around here and I watch, and as you can see, everything is happening essentially real time. There's no towers destroyed yet. Um, so it doesn't say there's any broken. And there you go, first turret was destroyed from the blue team. Uh, so you can see the tower is destroyed or whoever has it. That's essentially it. You just kind of have to make your own HUD, make your own graphic, put it on top of the existing one, make it look nice, put the fonts in you want, and you essentially have a fully working league HUD at the top. But this is a really cool, cheap way of doing it. Now, as I said before, this does cost money. It's roughly $5 an hour that it runs because it uses Cloud Vision API. However, Google gives you a massive, massive credit at the beginning. I think it's like $200. So essentially for your first large number of broadcasts you'll be able to run this for free but five dollars for a custom HUD is really cheap and as you can see when the kills happen it pretty much updates itself really fast so let's wait for something else to come in let's wait for somebody to die there you go kill happens and boom it's updated now it's pretty much instantaneous um, don't really mind how it looks on the top right it looks a bit ugly but once it's updated once you make it look nice it'll look great and that is it that is how to run a custom HUD nice and easy